Good evening, everyone. My name is Jenna. I'm the vegan artist, and today's topic is the dangers of deodorant and why I still use non-vegan deodorant. So, this is an example of the deodorant that I use. It is clinical strength, and it is not vegan. It is tested on animals, and there contains some ingredients in here that are pretty shady, and that's what we're going to be talking about today. So, clinical strength deodorant. The name of the main ingredient in this uh, deodorant slash antiperspirant is called aluminum zirconium trichlorohydrex, 20%, and it is used as an antiperspirant. So, basically what this antiperspirant does is the aluminum in it blocks the pores in your armpits so the sweat cannot get out at all. And that's why it's called an antiperspirant, um, so you don't sweat at all or not as much. So, it uses the salts to prevent the release of sweat. So, do you, what a deodorant does, so that's what an antiperspirant does. What a deodorant does is it neutralizes the smell by killing bacteria that metabolize proteins and fatty acids that occur in sweat. So, um, aluminum is linked to Alzheimer's. So, um, post-mortem analysis of Alzheimer's infected brains has shown increased levels of aluminum compared to people that didn't die from Alzheimer's. Um, so short-term symptoms of aluminum toxicity include memory loss, learning difficulty, loss of coordination, disorientation, mental confusion, heartburn, flatulence, and headaches. Alzheimer's was one of the possible long-term effects of chronic aluminum exposure. One study asserted that the use of aluminum-based antiperspirant increases the risk of Alzheimer's disease by 60%. Dietary components that may increase the risk of cognitive dysfunction include pork consumption, hormones, and steroids and glycotoxins found in chicken um, and VMA found in fish and cheese and iron supplements. So if you're eating animal products, chances are that you have a way higher chance of getting Alzheimer's than I do by using this deodorant. Underarm shaving and antiperspirant slash deodorant use may play a role in developing breast cancer um, at an earlier age. So basically when you're putting all this crap on your armpits right by your boobs, it increases your risk of getting breast cancer. Young girls that use antiperspirant slash deodorant are more likely to develop breast cancer later in life. So basically what aluminum can do is it can bind to the DNA um, and change it, like change your DNA resulting in damaged breast cells which can lead to cancer. So if you're using this and you're doing something like drinking milk which contains um, IGF-1 growth hormone, you're going to have those damaged breast cells and then they're going to keep reproducing because of the IGF-1 growth hormone. So another thing is that aluminum is more, I guess, potent when you put it on the skin versus um, taking it orally. So it's easier to be absorbed through your skin than through your mouth. So now that we have like the basics down and like all the risks and like the horrible things that this can do to you, um, I'm going to explain why I still use it. Now, I am a vegan. All of the products that I use are vegan. My shampoo, my conditioner, my makeup, my mascara. Um, what else do I use? My lotion. Um, basically, anything that you can think of that I use, it's vegan. All my clothes, all of my cosmetics, um, and all of my uh, hygienic products, except for my deodorant, are vegan. So the reason that I use a non-vegan deodorant is because <clears throat> I... I'm a very sweaty person. I'm a very nervous person, which leads to sweating a lot. Um, a lot of times, I also live in Southern California, so it's like hot all the time. Um, it almost never gets cold here. And I just, I sweat all the time. I'm nervous in class. I sit in class like this because I'm so nervous and I'm just so ready to get out of there that I just can't handle it. And I'm sweating and I'm so nervous and I'm tense. Um, so yeah, I sweat a lot. Now there are all natural alternatives, um, but they don't work for me. They've never worked. Um, they work for some people. If you're not as sweaty as a person as I am, you can even make your own deodorant. And, um, Ella Gale, I think is her name, has a tutorial on how to make your own deodorant, and I'll link that below. Um, but yeah, I'm just super sweaty, and nothing else works for me except for this clinical, um, clinical strength. And it has this aluminum zirconium trichlorohydrex has a percentage of 20. Um, I need anything between 17 and 20% of this stuff in a deodorant for it to work. Um, any of the other stuff for like 15 or less, like it doesn't work. 
Um, and this this is the only thing that I have found to been able to work for me. And basically, I just want to remind everyone that being a vegan means doing the most good and the least harm for the animals and for the planet. So I am doing the absolute most that I can. I'm eating vegan. I'm wearing vegan. I'm doing my makeup vegan. Everything in my life is centered around vegan. And I am doing the most that I can. So if there's one little thing that I can't do or I can't sacrifice in order to, you know, live my life, um, I don't know, I guess as I choose, I don't really know how to phrase that. But, but the one thing that I can't sacrifice is this deodorant because my life would be a living hell without it. Um, and a lot of people, you know, it's easier to give up things like wool and silk, um, and you can just change your shampoo to a regular vegan shampoo, you know, so all of those things that you can do without having to give up the quality, um, except for this. So yeah, that's my video on why I still use non-vegan deodorant. I know that there's going to be a lot of vegans out there who don't understand or who, you know, might say that I'm a bad vegan, but I'm definitely not. I am, I'm a good vegan. All vegans are good vegans, I would say. I'm still in it for the animals, no matter what, 100%. Um, so yeah, hopefully everyone will be able to understand why I use this kind of deodorant and um, if you have any questions leave them in the comments below or you can ask me on tumblr and yeah I'll see you in the next video bye